iOS 18 has a new feature which allows us to hide and lock applications on our iPhone with Face ID. Hiding apps is crucial for maintaining your privacy and security. Whether you want to keep personal information away from someone or organize your phone for a cleaner look, just follow my steps. So this works by using the Face ID feature on our iPhone. So what you want to do is to make sure that you have the passcode enabled on your iPhone as well as your Face ID. And also, this is a new feature on iOS 18, so if you have iOS 17 or lower, you will have to update your iOS version to the latest iOS 18 update. Open the settings, then scroll a little bit down until you can see the Face ID and Passcode option. And just make sure that Passcode and the Face ID features are enabled or turned on. Now let's exit this and hide specific applications. Let's say I want to hide WhatsApp from my home screen because I don't want other people to see that I have or use the WhatsApp application. All I have to do is to long press on the app until this menu appears, and then click on this Require Face ID. If you want to hide apps, then you will also have to lock them with Face ID. But if it's the other way around, for example, if you need to lock your apps with your Face ID only, then you don't need to hide them. I have a separate tutorial on my channel for locking apps, and I'll leave that video link in the description down below so you can check it out. When we get this menu over our screen, you can see the Require Face ID and Hide and Require Face ID buttons. We'll click on the second option and then you'll get this pop-up page where they'll explain to you what hiding WhatsApp does. It will no longer be visible on your iPhone, except for a few places such as the settings. You will need to scan your face with Face ID in order to reveal, open, and use Siri with this app. So you'll have to scan your face in order to open the folder where WhatsApp is. But what after you hide your app and you now need to find it and open it? That's pretty simple. Just scroll all the way to the right side until you open the app library on your iPhone. If we scroll a little bit down to the bottom, you'll see the hidden folder. And that's where all the hidden apps will be. But I can't see what apps are in this folder unless I scan my face. So tap on the folder. The iPhone will use Face ID in order to confirm your identity, and you can now see that I have the WhatsApp and YouTube applications hidden from my home screen. If I try to open WhatsApp, the application will be locked, and I will have to scan my face one more time in order to open and unlock the app. But that's how to hide the app. What if I want to unhide the app and put it at my home screen one more time? All I have to do is to long press the app in the hidden folder and then click on this Add to Home Screen. Then confirm your decision by tapping on Unhide App right here, and the app will reappear on your iPhone's home screen. Keep in mind that it won't be locked anymore, and it won't require Face ID in order to open it. So if you want to lock it, just do that manually and require the Face ID. That's how hiding apps works on iOS 18. If you need more similar iOS 18 tutorial videos like this one, then simply check out the playlist from the description down below, and I'll see you soon.